Okay, so we have a guitar to unbox. This isn't my first unboxing video ever, but it it always feels like the first time I'm doing this. I never know how to do unboxing videos. So I'm just gonna wing it. Let's have a go with this. Um, I think it's probably pretty obvious what's in this box. It is a guitar um, from said company. I wonder if this is a clue as well. This is also a little bit of a clue. So, you know, see what's in here. Really excited to unbox this guitar. And super grateful for Fender for reaching out. Uh, I hate these metal staples that they put in the box though. It's impossible. Get in. I'm just gonna end up ripping it. All right, we're in. Good, good paperwork and an Allen key sticker. I like stickers. Uh, okay, good start. I have to say, first impressions, this box weighs nothing at all. Um, I act was actually wondering if they'd forgot to put the guitar in because the, literally it's, the box weighs nothing. Um, so that also might be a little clue on what guitar it is. And here it is. Um, aha. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now that's interesting. I was expecting a different color, but this color looks great still. Oh wow, so it's like a sonic blue. So I guess we'll go through a little specs on what this guitar actually is. It is a brand new player series, so kind of their Mexican range Mustang. Quite obviously it's a Mustang. Um, and yeah, like I said, I was expecting it in the gold, but this sonic blue looks sweet as well. Maple fretboard, maple neck, older body, weighs absolutely nothing. Really don't know very much about Mustangs, which is why I was really interested in trying one of these out. Um, yeah, as far as I know, they started off being like a student model guitar. Uh, they were introduced in 64. Um, as a, like a shorter scale length, smaller body um, guitar for basically beginners. Um, I believe actually when they first uh, brought them out, there was actually a 22 and a half inch scale length. Um, since then, they're now 24 inch scale length like this. Let's see if it's in tune. Perfectly in tune as well. That's pretty amazing. As far as I know, the pickups are Strat E, Stratish, but because of the shorter scale length, it um, they might sound a little warmer. Maybe not as spanky as a typical Strat. Um, but yeah, really interested in getting some tones with this. I'll plug it in quickly now. Um, yeah, I think it looks great. The finish is really nice. Sonic Blue is a favourite colour of mine. It's a satin feeling on the neck, which I was a little worried about that it was going to be glossy on the neck. Personal preference, I like the satin. And that's really nice. Strung through body, which I believe is probably a little sacrilege when it comes to Mustangs. They usually have a whammy bar, but for, for me personally, having a hardtail is much preferred. I know there have been some, uh, I guess, more modern players of the Mustang, more indie players, and like 1975 and bands and artists like that. But for me, the Mustang will always remind me of Kurt Cobain. You know, Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. I know he played a um, kind of Jazz Masters and Jaguars, but for me, Kurt Cobain, I always picture him with a Mustang or that Martin acoustic that just sold for six million US dollars. Um, but yeah, I always picture him with a Mustang. And yeah, I'm a big 90s grunge fan, which is also why I'm wearing the Sub Pop cap. Um, little tease for you guys. Um, yeah, so really excited to get to know this guitar. Let's get some tones right now. I'm going to tune it up. Um, usual rig for me into the pedal board, into the Victor V40, blah de blah de blah. I don't know, I think I probably set the camera at the wrong height, but we're going to roll with it because it's unboxed now and you can't exactly do an unboxing twice, can you? No. Okay, so let's get some tones. Cheers, guys. <coughs> Thank you. 
there you go, a quick couple first tones with the new Mustang. Um, I'm really interested in what's going on here. It's definitely something new. It's kind of stratty, but also really not stratty. It's really its own thing. The weight is really nice. Um, the shorter scale length with the kind of mixture of the bolt-on neck is a nice combination that I don't think I've played with before. Usually my bolt-on guitars are a longer scale length, so this is a nice change. Um, like I said, the colour was not what I was expecting, but I'm a fan of the sonic blue, actually. Um, kind of worked out nicely. Um, the setup seems pretty good out of the box. We have a bit of a rattle on the D string, but that's an easy fix. Um, but other than that, the, the action's really nice. Um, the strings are obviously brand new. I had to stretch them in a little bit before we got some tones because they were a bit wayward. The tuners seem decent. They're just kind of the standard Fender ones. The pickups are tasty. Um, like I said, they're kind of stray, but not really stray. That really doesn't make sense, but they're really low output. There's not a lot of power behind the pickups, which is probably my preference anyway. Um, I do like a low output pickup, and the look of them is great. Classic Mustang. Yeah. The neck feels nice. It's a bit chunkier than, I don't know, it's probably just like a medium C. You know, I feel like that's pretty standard across uh, modern fenders. But it's there's a reasonable amount to grab hold of. I wouldn't say it's a super slim neck at all. I have to say I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, you're going to start seeing this crop up in some demos. Um, and also I'm going to be doing a full demo specifically on this guitar in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, definitely check out the new Player Series guitars from... Uh, Fender. Player Series has been around for a long time but they're just introducing a few more models and a few new colours including this Mustang um, and a Duo Sonic as well which looks cool um, but I was going for the Mustang because because obviously. But yeah it's a tasty guitar. Tasty tasty guitar. The more I look at this Sonic Blue as well the more I like it. Mm, yeah I do like that Sonic Blue. Looks great. Alright I've probably babbled on too much. Thanks for checking out the video guys, if you like what you saw please subscribe and maybe check out some more and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys!